So now, our keynote speaker today is Helga Schmidt, Secretary General of the OCSC. She has held several prominent diplomatic positions during her career. Let me just mention two of them. She was Secretary General for the European External Action Service and the Deputy Secretary General for Political Affairs for the European External Action Service. Please welcome here Helga Schmidt. Excellencies, dear participants, they say only a crisis produces change. But is the COVID-19 pandemic a watershed moment for cybersecurity? Surely the digitalization of our world was well underway and accelerating even before the pandemic. Yet I think no one will doubt that the pandemic has forced us to embrace technology and with it its inherent risks at even greater speed. Our fast increasing reliance on cyberspace also raises the stakes and the likelihood of a cyber incident destabilizing the already delicate relations between states. In the field of cyber diplomacy, the pandemic has revealed that not everything can be digitized, least of all in-person engagement in confidence and trust building. But with more and more professional, political and diplomatic activities migrating to the digital sphere, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, or the OECE for short, has adapted to promoting stability, peace and democracy in an increasingly online world. With 57 participating states in North America, Europe and Asia, the OEC is the world's largest regional security organization, using political dialogue and practical work to ensure the comprehensive security of over one billion people. Our approach to security encompasses political-military, economic, environmental and human dimensions. Recently, the OEC contributed to the work of the United Nations Open-Ended Working Group, which, as you know, issued its final report in March this year. Encouragingly, the report highlighted the important role of regional organizations, including the OECE, in contributing to cyber stability. So you might now wonder what is exactly the OECE doing in this field? And why is this contribution so important? In the past decade, the OEC has served as an incubator of UN recommendations and a pioneer in adopting regional cybersecurity confidence building measures. These confidence building measures represent a crucial pillar of the global cyber stability framework and are aimed at promoting cooperation reducing misperceptions and helping prevent escalation that may lead to conflict. Confidence building measures may not prevent a deliberate cyber incident, but they can create an atmosphere of trust and confidence where one is much less likely to occur. To date, OEC participating states have adopted 16 confidence building measures that create and increase transparency enhance cooperation and foster greater preparedness, also by involving many different stakeholders. What do these look like? And how do they work in practice? Let's assume that a participating state has become aware of a cyber incident on its own territory that might involve critical infrastructure or governmental systems. With the available information, it might be difficult to have certainty about the intent and even the identity of the attackers. So instead of drawing conclusions based on incomplete information, which could lead to increasing tensions and escalations, the concerned participating state can reach out to the authorities of the country it suspects the attack has originated from and exchange information to have a full picture. 
So recognizing the need for rapid notifications and crisis communication, OEC participating states have created a network of national points of contact, including both policy makers and technical experts. I'm aware that this might just sound like having a few names and contact details in a virtual phone book, but this is not the case. Thanks to conscious efforts by our participating states and with the support of the OC Secretariat, the network is a living community of policymakers that work together to promote cyber stability. The opportunity to meet in person and exchange best practices can create valuable partnerships between states not always having previously engaged with each other. As you can imagine, the information shared in these cases might be of a particularly sensitive nature. So having a secure channel is critical to ensure that information is transmitted securely and its authenticity preserved. Can the OEC provide a secure channel for all of our 57 participating states? As an organization that specializes in confidence building measures, we were able to take advantage of the already existing communications network that allows participating states to exchange secure notifications and has so far mainly been used in the context of arms control. These are just a few tangible examples of the dynamic and productive discussions that are taking place through the confidence building measures process. States are further using the OEC as a platform to conceptualize, exchange and adopt best practices on topics such as critical infrastructure protection and public-private partnerships. To further demystify confidence building measures and present the status of their progress, the OEC recently launched a publicly available e-learning course that I warmly recommend to the audience. Beyond the OEC framework also, confidence building measures are gradually finding more applications and an ever bigger audience. Other regional organizations are building confidence and cooperation among its members. In fact, both the Organization of American States and the ASEAN Regional Forum have followed suit in adopting their own sets of confidence building measures. Recognizing this, the United Nations has encouraged further cross-regional exchanges and has also been calling for formalizing dialogue between regional organizations on these issues. In June this year, the OECE will be co-organizing its third biannual inter-regional conference on cyber ICT security with the Republic of Korea. Through this conference and other frequent international exchanges, the OECE stands ready to share its experiences and help link diverse regional efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, Challenges in cyberspace are global in nature, and regional efforts must mirror this fact. The OEC will continue to be guided by the recommendations of past, current and future UN processes. In turn, we will share our own lessons learned from our set of confidence building measures that we are deploying to improve security in cyberspace. Thank you very much for your attention. Helga Schmidt, thank you very much for your explanations and insights.